About domestic partnership relations. Can domestic partnerships be considered agreements between partners? What is the degree of interaction between their bloodlines? On the one hand, each of the partners seems to be on his or her own, they only have an unspoken agreement. On the other hand, the currents of powers can still somehow pass from one partner to the other. Yes, Olga, this is indeed a very complicated question. It is a fact that society today does not insist on traditional marriage. Moreover, even the legal basis is beginning to be adjusted, for example, by changing the status of civil marriage to civil partnership. Another thing is that there are also deeply rooted cultural archetypes that can be very difficult to overcome. After all, it is a different way of perceiving yourself and your partner when you are in a formal marriage as opposed to when you are in an informal marriage. Especially if you were born, say, in the last century, when these cultural codes were literally absorbed with your mother's milk. On the one hand, this is pure psychology, but on the other hand, every cultural code carries a very powerful archetypal pattern that cannot be overcome unless it is recognized. For example, the formula of marriage that existed in the 20th century, in pre-revolutionary times, where men and women stood before God and these witnesses when they got married. Before these witnesses, they had a civil wedding ceremony performed by a government official and before God, they had a church wedding ceremony. So they presented themselves as souls and personalities. as social persons and spiritual persons. Now that's not necessary. So if you really see no difference between common law marriage and traditional marriage, if that's your belief, then you won't have any difference in interpenetration on the informational level either. But if you do realize that there is a difference, that this code is still very deep within you, you have no right to neglect it. Because it is the height of folly, the height of naivety to think that the keys that are present in your consciousness will not work for some reason. They will work, make no doubt about it. All of this will simply escape your attention. You will not realize that the reason why you do not take each other seriously is because the very key that is activated in your consciousness says that you can only take each other seriously if you have witnessed your vows, if you have spoken them out loud, not only before God, but also before people. If this code is present in your consciousness, but you do not bear the same surname, and your mother-in-law does not see you as her daughter-in-law, but as her son's companion, for example, then the relationship with your partner will also be quite superficial. And then there will be no deep interpenetration of your informational currents. You won't be able to become one. The opposite is also true. If none of this matters to you, if you don't have these codes within you and you know it, and your partner doesn't have them, and you know it, then, of course, domestic partnership is generally the same as a real marriage. It all depends on your attitudes, yours and your partner's. Because only if you have the same keys and the same codes, the agreement is considered concluded. And you can talk all you want about your progressive thinking, about how marriage means nothing to you, that all of this is just a thing of the past, but if you do have this key, it's only a self-deception. And this self-deception inevitably leads to relationship disaster sooner or later. 
обязательно.